Hey there, Painful Mass here. Uh, we're on bias number four, and we're going to do the bandwagon effect. Lots of people have probably heard of this one, but it is almost certainly the bias that is most often misunderstood. I'm bracing myself for a lot of comments on this one. The bandwagon effect is the tendency to do things or believe things just because a large group or majority of people are doing or believing these things. The way I've worded it is one of the reasons it's misunderstood. Let's try to be as clear as possible about this. The bandwagon effect is a cognitive bias. It's been a while since you've heard me say this, so I'll repeat myself for the sixth time or something. A bias is not intentional. It happens subconsciously without you being aware of it. In fact, you almost certainly think that you have this belief or you're doing this thing for very legitimate independent reasons. But all of this is the rationalization ent entering your consciousness and is not the root cause. I'll also repeat myself on another point. Everyone has biases. I'm not saying I'm free of them, and I'm not saying that having a belief due to a bias makes you a bad person or something. It is just a fact of how our brains work. The value judgment comes from denying that you could be affected by this. You could be affected by this. That's all there is to it. You probably weren't aware of it either. I used to think the bandwagon effect was that people went along with the crowd because they wanted to fit in. As in, you would know that you were affected by the bandwagon effect because you would do something with the explicit knowledge that you were trying to fit in. This is a common misconception and is not what the bandwagon effect is really about. So first, I'll illustrate this with an example from my own life to show that I can be affected by it too. Back in the day when I was just a wee little thing, there's this random fad that swept my high school and I think the US in general. It was a yo-yo fad which happens every so often for some reason. I thought it was so cool, I got several different types of yo-yos and practiced all sorts of tricks. It's so embarrassing now to think about, but now that I'm out of it, it's very easy for me to see that all that I was doing was trying to fit in and go along with the crowd. At the time, I really thought that I was doing it because I came to the conclusion that yo-yos were awesome all by myself. My consciousness was hiding the fact that I was doing it to fit in by presenting me with emotions and reasons that were only invented by my brain after the fact. I know I'm going to get comments about this, but it's important to understand this distinction. If you believe something such as a particular religion or just the fact that God exists or something, there's a good chance that it is merely the bandwagon effect. You can have arguments and reasons for your beliefs, but that doesn't mean you're not affected. It's a bias, so you're not aware of it. In fact, in order to protect the belief, it is most likely the case that your consciousness is trying to cover it up with reasons and arguments. I can think of very little that has such drastic consequences as leaving a religion, so the potential for bandwagon effect is extremely great. You probably have the same religion as your parents, and this effect explains exactly why this is the case. What happens if you leave a religion? For many people, they will lose a large group of their friends and possibly their families as well for at least a little bit. In some parts of the country, it could be dangerous. At the very least, you're going to be ostracized for a while by some people. I know a lot of you are having a very strong reaction to this idea right now. You're thinking, that's not me, I don't believe my religion merely because other people around me do. And this is an extremely hard thing to overcome and accept that it is possible that you came to your belief because of this. That doesn't mean that this is the only reason you have right now, but it is possible that what caused it is what caused the belief in the first place. And as we've seen in previous posts, once you have a belief, all sorts of other things take over and really alter your perceptions in order to protect it. Think about this. The Hindus in India believe just as strongly as the Christians in the U.S. that their beliefs are true. If you are unaffected by bandwagon informing your religious beliefs, why can I say with such confidence that if you grew up surrounded by Christians, that is the belief you adopted, and if you grew up around Hindus, that is the belief system you adopted? And if the bandwagon effect wasn't at work, there would be an equal chance of you becoming any of the thousands of religions out there, so all the religions would be spread out evenly across the world. But that's not what we observe. 
You might be tempted to say that the bandwagon effect takes hold of many people when forming religious beliefs, but just not me. But how do you know? If you're willing to admit that it happens in most people to most, in most places, then why aren't you willing to admit that it could happen to you? And if you don't think it happens to most people, explain the observation about religions occurring in specific regions of the world. Thank you. This is the bandwagon effect.